continuing with point clouds, um, if you have point clouds loaded into your uh, eShare model, okay, you get your point clouds here on the left side in your tree. Now, depending on how much point clouds you have in there, okay, you get a certain amount of point clouds here in the bottom. Now, if I right click on one of them, I can say here, show bubble view. And then it automatically brings me to the bubble view of that point cloud. Now looking around, I can see, in this case, a red one, which is another bubble view. And if I click on it with the left mouse button, I automatically go to that bubble view. And then looking around, I can see different bubble views. And of course, if I left click on them, I will go to that specific bubble view. Now what you can also do here in, um, in a point cloud is you can also measure. So if I click here and then for example right click and then right click over here. It measures the distance between those two points. Now of course uh, the accuracy of this depends on how um, detailed your point cloud is. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the accuracy in this one is somewhere in between um, or the inaccuracy is somewhere in between like a half a centimeter, depending on, of course, how the detail of your point cloud. What you can do for the rest, if you have these point clouds over here, you can right click on certain objects and you can add smart points and you can add markups if you want. And of course, you can jump around still in, be in between the different bubble views. That basically concludes it for the point clouds.